Welcome to our gentle flow this morning. Hopefully today kind of touches on all the different pieces of our body where we usually hold tension. And we open up our chest and front of the body, side body, and but also get nice and rooted into the ground. So we will do um, a couple of standing poses, well linking a couple. So if you feel like you need to grab a strap or be near a wall during our standing poses, feel free to do that. You're in your house, you can do whatever. Um, I'm gonna stay up a little bit high on some of our standing poses such as uh, extended side angle and whatnot. So um, feel free to go deeper if you wanna go deeper, however you feel this morning. But I'm gonna stay up a little bit higher. My back's kind of bothering me. So that's where I'm at today and I'm completely fine with it. As long as it starts to feel better. All right, so let's go ahead and begin at the back of our mat. And tuck your toes under, getting a nice foot stretch here. Knees are towards each other. Heels are right underneath your sit bones here. You can plant your hands on the mat, spread the fingertips wide, take the fingers into the mat, and just slowly come up out of it a little bit. And then exhale, sink your hips back over your heels. Inhale, lift up just a little bit. Exhale, sink back on top of the heels. Inhale, lift up. This time, untuck the toes. Spread the knees out wide and send the hips back for child's pose. Begin to melt your chest down. I'm going to keep my head up just so that you can hear me, but Relax your forehead down on the mat. You can relax your elbows at this time. Make some space between the shoulder blades. Really broaden and expand the back. And let's connect with our breath. Big inhale through the nose. Fill up the belly. Feel as though it's a balloon and you're blowing up a balloon. And then exhale, release all of that air and lift the navel back towards the spine. Inhale, fill up. Expand the belly between your thighs. And then exhale, let it all go. Continue to breathe here. If you would like to get an extra stretch, bend the elbows, bring palms to touch, and then just relax your hands behind your head. You can stay right there. And then slowly roll up to tabletop position. Adjusting the knees right underneath the hips. Spread the fingers wide. Shoulders are stacked right over your wrists. And let's take a few cat cows, warming up the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. Take your gaze up. Exhale, empty out. Round the spine. Maybe release the neck, moving it side to side. Inhale, drop the belly. Send the hips up, shoulders back. Exhale, round the spine. Maybe roll around, shifting side to side. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, back into cat. One more round of breath here. Inhale, cow pose. Make it as big as you would like. Exhale, cat, round the spine. And then find a neutral tabletop position and step the right foot back. Press the ball of the foot into the mat. Send your heel all the way to the back, as far as it can go. And then inhale, shift forward. Come onto the top of that foot. Untuck those toes. Dig the tops of the toes into the mat. 
And feel that extra stretch in the foot, the ankle right there. And then tuck the toes back under. Exhale, send your heel towards the back. Inhale, shift forward, come onto the top of the foot. And then exhale, tuck the toes, send the heel back. This time, inhale, shift forward and pause. And then if you would like to take a spinal balance, float the right leg up. Hips are square. Engage the core here. Lift up through the underarms and make some extra space in the back. And then if you'd like to take it further, find your balance, slowly reach your left hand up near your ear and out towards the top of the mat. And then exhale, drop it down and sit the hips back into child's pose. This time, let it be an active child's pose with the elbows lifted. And inhale, round it back up into tabletop. Set the left foot back, press the ball of the foot into the mat, send the heel back as far as it can go. And a nice stretch here. Inhale, shift forward. Come onto the tops of those toes. Really press them down into the mat. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the heels back. Inhale, shift forward and come onto the top of the foot. Exhale, send the heel back. Inhale, shift forward and pause. And float the left leg up. Mirror what you did on the other side. Really lift up through the underarms. Engage the core. And then when you're ready, reach the right arm up next to your ear and towards the top of your mat. Isometrically pull your left hand towards your right knee on the mat. Think about squeezing those towards each other, thighs towards each other. Exhale, drop it down, and let's take puppy pose. Walk your hands out towards the top of your mat. Hips are stacked over your knees. Slowly melt your chest down. You can relax your chin down. If your shoulders are really tight, take your hands out wide, and then relax your elbows down. If your neck bothers you, definitely relax your forehead down versus your chin. And exhale, press the hands into the mat as you mount your chest further. You're going to go ahead and walk it back up. And tuck the toes, lift the hips up for downward facing dog. And go ahead and take a few breaths here. Wiggle it out in one knee than the other. Take the feet out as wide as your mat here. Lift the heels up off the mat. Send your heels to the left and then release them down. Shoulders are square. Let your chest melt back. Inhale, send the heels back up through center and over to the right and let them fall down. Inhale, back through center, bring the feet out, hips distance apart, then one knee, then the other. And let's walk the hands back towards your feet at the back of your mat. And inhale, lift up halfway. The spine is long here. You don't necessarily have to come up to a flat back, but keep your flat, your, your back in one straight line, wherever it is. Micro bend in the knees, tilting your heart space forward. And then exhale, fold and pause here. Release the neck. Move your head around. 
Find some space there for your head to move freely. Mm. Tilt your hips up with your knees bent so that you're not pulling from the back. And then bend the knees and roll slowly all the way up to standing. It's early in the morning. And inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart. Pause here for just a moment. Use this time to find your intention for the day. All the worries of yesterday are yesterday. How do we want today to look compared to it? What can we do differently? Maybe it's not the things or the actions we do, but it's our thoughts. Take one more deep breath in through the nose. Feel in that intention. Exhale, open the mouth and let it go. Inhale, reach the hands up high. Exhale, fold. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. And walk your hands out into high plank here. And the heels to the back, shoulders stack over your wrists. Drop the knees down and squeeze the elbows in, chaturanga all the way down to the mat. And let's come into Sphinx Pose. So you're on the tops of your feet. Bring your elbows in right underneath your shoulders. Spread the fingers wide and draw your hands towards your heels. Press the tops of the feet into your mat so much that your kneecaps lift up. And then also lift your head up as high as it can go towards the sky. Not necessarily dropping it back and helping with your shoulder blades to draw down your back. Now take your gaze over your right shoulder. Drop your chin through the center towards your chest and take a look over your left shoulder. Then drop your chin through towards your chest and roll it down to the mat. Bring fingers out wide, bend the elbows. Inhale, peel the chest up. Press your fingertips into the mat, palms lifted. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, peel up. This time maybe move the shoulders around, rolling them back one at a time. Exhale, roll down. Plant palms next to your low ribs. Tuck the toes, lift up through tabletop, and into downward facing dog. And inhale, lift the heels as high as they can go. Hips are really, really high. Press the hands into the mat, sending your chest towards your thighs. And take a look at the top of your mat, staying on your tippy toes. See how far you can stay as you walk. Tiptoe all the way to the top of your mat into a forward fold. Toes touch, heels wide. Inhale, halfway lift. Tilt your heart space forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, scoop the arms out and up to rise up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. So let's step the right foot back into a high crescent lunge here. Go ahead and square the hips off, bend the front knee, keeping it right over just behind your ankle. Now with your hands, tuck the hips under. Draw the navel in so that back knee will bend, which is okay. We're wanting to focus in the front so as right there. Release any tension that we're holding there. And then reach the arms up high. Inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms. Bend the elbows. Maybe take your gaze up. Inhale, reach back up. Bend that back heel down. 
into a little kickstand, coming into warrior one. So your hips are already squared off. See if you can maintain that with the back heel down. Your back leg is straight. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. And then lift the back heel up and spin it all the way down into warrior two. So your back heel is parallel with the back of your mat. Heel toe are in line. Reach the arms out wide. Bring palms to face up here. And relax the elbows a little bit. This will help relax the shoulders. Sometimes we get really tight if we're up here. Go ahead and just turn the palms up completely fine. Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm to your back leg. Reach the left arm up and back. And then for a little challenge here, an extra shoulder opener, take that right arm, that back arm, reach it around your back and see if you can snuggle it in towards your front thigh. And lift that left hand as high as it can go. Feel as though you're making space between those left ribs. And then inhale, straighten that front leg. If you would like to keep the thigh there, you can. Otherwise, release that back arm coming into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. So you can either place your hand on the mat in the front or the back. You can place it on a block. I'm just going to stay up high here. And micro bend in that front knee. Reach that right arm up towards the sky, but draw the shoulder back. And then drop that top arm over your ear, spin all the way down, reaching to the inside of your left foot. Heel toe that back foot in just a little bit. Kick stand that back foot, bend the front knee and rise up warrior one. Draw the shoulders down, lift the back heel, spin it up into crescent lunge. So we're coming out of it the way we got into it. And then reach forward and plant the palms on the outside of that front foot. Step back, option to keep the knees up this time or lower them down. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Squeeze the elbows into your sides, making a shell. And then lower all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes. Inhale into full upward facing dog or cobra, wherever you'd like to go this morning. Shoulders are back. Engage the core. And then drop the knees down, tuck the toes, come into downward facing dog. And inhale, lift the heels up and tiptoe your way all the way to the top of your mat. Keeping straight legs as far as you can. Toes touch, slight space between the heels. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to heart. I'm going to turn the other way. And we're going to do everything on the left side this time. Just step the left foot back this time. Into a high crescent lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Draw the shoulders down. And tuck the hips under. Navel is in towards your spine. Exhale, cactus the arms. Open the chest. Drop your head back if that feels good. Inhale, reach it back up. Bend the back heel down as though it's a kickstand. I'm going to heel toe mine in just a little bit more. Try to keep the hips squared off. Send that right hip back, left hip forward. And then lift the back heel up, spin it down. 
into warrior two. Adjust your feet, your stance, however you need to. Bend that front knee. Send it towards the pinky edge of your front foot here. Opening the hips. Turn the palms up, relax the elbows. Like inhale through the nose. Exhale, sink it deeper. And inhale, reverse warrior. Back arm comes down, right arm reaches up and back for a nice side stretch, opening up. If you would like to take that half bind, you can take your left hand and snuggle it in behind your back, maybe reaching towards the front thigh. Lift up and out. And slowly inhale up, straighten that front leg and reach the right arm forward. You can maintain that bind or release it and reach the left hand high. Shoulders are stacked over each other. I'm gonna heel toe that back foot in just a little bit more so I can stay up higher. And then drop the top arm over your ear and slowly release it down to the inside of the front foot. Lift the back heel up and kick stand it into warrior one and rise up, square the hips off. And lift the back heel up, come into a high crescent lunge and reach forward. And place your hands on the outside of your front foot. Step back into high plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's tiptoe to the top of your mat again. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to heart. A little time check. <laughs> all right, so we're going to um, do a little standing balance and then make our way down into a seated position and um, close it out with a short little um, prayer. So let's take a tree pose here. If you would like to use a wall, go ahead and go to a wall here, depending on how you feel this morning. So shift all of your weight into your left foot. Bring your left hand to your hip and turn the right knee out. You can keep your right foot on the mat or slowly make your way up towards your inner thigh. Open it up. Once you're nice and rooted, engage the core. Maybe you reach your hands up to the sky. Roll the wrists around if they're bothering you. And then drop the arms, draw that knee towards center, and bring it towards your chest. The hips are square. And then hang on to it with your right hand. Left arm comes out and slowly open the hip up. Dig those standing toes, those rooted grounding toes into the mat. And release out of that. Shake the hips side to side. And let's come on to the other side. Root down into that right foot and turn the left knee out. Option to stay here, mirror what you did on the other side, but know that this side might feel a little bit better or not so great. And slowly bring that foot up either to your calf, skip your knee, or to your inner thigh. Press into it. And when you're ready, reach the arms up high and wide. Slowly bring the knee in towards center and wrap your hands around it, lifting it up towards your chest. 
Hang on to it with your left hand. Reach your right arm out wide. Open that hip up. Everything is still active. And then release down out of that. Shake your hips out. Turn your toes out wide. Heels in. Your feet are out a little bit wider than hips distance. And let's slowly sink it down into a yogi squat. It's okay if your heels are up. Press the backs of your arms into your inner thighs. Lift the chest. And then when you're ready, release the hands, plant them behind you, and maybe come right down to a seated position. However you want to get there. Pull the shoulders back. Feel both of your sit bones connected to the earth here. Place your hands on your knees, palms face up. Facing the palms up, using this as a time of surrender, a time of gratitude, thankfulness. Being open-minded for whatever comes your way today. Think of it as an opportunity to learn and grow. May we all be safe today. Have open hearts and open minds. Continuing to come back to the things that are going well with us and keeping in mind the things that other people might be struggling with. Be mindful of that. Wrap your hands over your chest here. Placing your palms over your chest. Feeling connected. And knowing that where you are is exactly where you need to be right now. Thank you so much for joining me today for letting me be your God. Bring your hands to heart center in prayer. The light in me honors the light, the love, the beauty, the joy, and the peace in each and every one of you. Namaste.